Hello and welcome to this edition of FYI. I'm Elaine Chang Baxter, the Director of Partnerships for Montgomery County Public Schools. With us in the studio today is Andrew Brown. Andrew is an aviation instructor at Colonel Zadok Magruder High School in Rockville. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Elaine. Appreciate it. I understand we have this great new program called the Aviation and Aerospace Program. What, what is this all about? Well, it's a, it's a new career readiness program at Magruder High School and uh, it's a curriculum built by the Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association, or AOPA, uh -huh. uh, to help the, with the demand that the aviation field is going to be feeling in, uh, you know, currently and in the next few years. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a great program for anyone who's interested in aviation, mm -hmm. whether it be becoming a pilot, uh, aircraft maintenance, Mm -hmm. uh, cabin crew, flight support, air traffic control, mm -hmm. airspace engineering. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a pretty comprehensive program to, to be that first step to uh, anyone who's interested in, in having a career or continuing on in the aviation field. Right, and it also includes drone piloting, which I hadn't thought about yes, before. Yes, yes. That's absolutely amazing. Yeah. So can you, um, it was really interesting talking to you before we started filming about what happens in ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, 12th grade. Can you just run us through that? Yeah, so it's a four-year program. Mm -hmm. uh, students will apply in their eighth grade year. Mm -hmm. uh, the first two years, students will have the same courses, uh, introductory courses, mm -hmm. and then we're offering two pathways. So we have the UAS operator or unmanned aircraft systems, uh, basically if you want to become a drone pilot, okay. and then we also have a pathway for if you want to become a private pilot. Mm -hmm. uh, so then you'll choose which pathway you want to select your mm -hmm. junior year, mm -hmm. and then your senior year, we're really excited about the opportunities of students having internships and, and completing capstone projects. Mm. to finish out the four-year program. Mm. Okay, that's really interesting. Um, so why are aviation careers kind of the hot job market topic? Well, aviation is, is bursting at the seams right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we always see more planes in the sky, um, not only just with passenger demand, mm -hmm. but also with cargo demand, and then evolving technologies too with, with UAS, with the drones. Mm -hmm. um, so what that done is it's really uh, really created demand for the jobs mm -hmm. because of the gap that it has to fill, and then mm -hmm. also with the technologies that emerging, uh, you know, with that evolution. So uh, when you think about, you know, one day drones could be delivering packages or being a, a crucial component in emergency response and those types of things, right. uh, the demand is going to be there. So we're excited that we're able to offer mm -hmm. uh, these two pathways and prepare students for careers uh, mm -hmm. right after high school or, or any other post-secondary education that they would want to gather. Wow. Are you already hearing about companies wanting to hire people that know how to pilot the drones? I know you had mentioned um, some actually have a component where they can actually speak to someone. Can you talk a little bit about how drones have kind of developed over time and why this is so exciting? Yeah, so, so the drones have really changed the game, whether it would be emergency response, package delivery, uh, looking, surveying, inspecting, mm -hmm. uh, aerial photography, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's really been a game changer. So mm -hmm. some examples that we're hoping um, our students will, will, some careers they'll be able to dive right into. Mm -hmm. uh, you look at uh, surveillance for police, if there's an active shooter scenario or mm -hmm. if there's a, an emergency like that, they're mm -hmm. able to get that aerial uh, photography mm -hmm. and, and feedback to help with those scenarios. Mm -hmm. Also with uh, fire departments are able to use drones to look at uh, the fires to see where the hot spots are. Mm. If there's someone who's stranded because of natural disaster mm. or emergency, uh, some drones have an intercom system on them mm. where they can talk back and forth with uh, with whoever is in, in danger and, and figure out how to to get them help. So it's mm. really neat. Mm. Are do our current um, police force or fire rescue teams do they are they using drones right now? There, there's uh, depending on where you are, um, mm -hmm. they're looking at using uh, this technology uh, right now. Montgomery County Fire Department is uh, looking to use this in the mm -hmm. future. Mm -hmm. uh, we're excited to kind of work with them too. Um, you know, hopefully maybe some of our students might be able to get some uh, capstone products or internships in, in that avenue as well. Right, that's great. I'm sure, th I'm sure they're game. <laughs> uh, I partner with them all the time. Um, when was this program launched? It was just launched this past year. Yeah, so this is our first year. We have 52 students. Uh, uh -huh. They're ninth graders. Okay. Um, they're on the, the, f the first year of the four years. Uh -huh. uh, and then, like I said, they'll go through um, a sophomore year with, with uh, some intro courses, and then they'll pick their pathway their junior year for their capstone and internship on their senior year. And do you think the ones that are currently in the program, are they just eating it all up and yeah, excited really, it, to stay on, they're not really dropping out. Yeah, yeah it's really exciting. That's great. Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're fully aware of the opportunities mm -hmm. that they're going to get. Um, you know, not only just the product-based learning that they're learning in the, the, 
the freshman year, but mm -hmm. then the, the sophomore and junior years where they're flying the drones or mm -hmm. using the flight sim. Mm -hmm. um, so they're really excited, and I'm sure other students will be uh, really excited when they you know see us flying drones around the right. school. I'm sure they're chomping at the bit <laughs> to get to their junior, senior year, hands-on yeah. uh, learning. Um, what's your recruitment process um, or getting the word out for this next cohort to come on in in their in their freshman year? So for for information on the, the program, um, we have the uh, Magruder has our own web page uh -huh. uh, with uh, the aviation tab on that has some more information. Okay. The Montgomery County uh, Public School Ready Career Readiness website has some information on it. Uh -huh. um, and we also have a, a Twitter handle that uh, students can follow to see what we're doing. Okay, great. Um, and can you share some of the projects that, uh, project-based learning that students have or that they engage in? And I know you had mentioned capstone projects, so I don't know if that's the same as project-based learning. So the really neat thing about the, the curriculum is the mm -hmm. freshman year, they get a lot of hands-on project-based uh, learning, whether they're I making see. gliders, uh, okay. making parachutes, hot air balloons, oh, okay. looking at airfoils, using our 3D printers, looking at our wind tunnel oh, uh, to really see the, the, the course concepts come alive. Mm -hmm. What's really been uh, great for our students um, that we've extended these learning opportunities to different facilities. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're excited to visit the Montgomery County Air Park in the mm -hmm. spring. Um, we're, we got really lucky this year. We're going to go down to the Army Aviation Support Facility mm -hmm. and uh, Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're, we're looking forward to taking our students to the uh, Udvarhazi Air and Space Museum as mm -hmm. well. And then also with extending those learning opportunities outside of the classroom, uh, we've been very fortunate and been embraced by the aviation community and having multiple panel discussions where pilots have come in and talked to our students about their careers. Uh, we've had UAS operators come in and talk to students about their careers and then just recently last week we had um, three aerospace engineers come in and talk about the things that they've done wow. uh, as, as a job. So, so yeah, it's really neat. Yeah, and hats off to you guys for just kind of you know, you didn't know what you didn't know and launching it, and now you've just got all this support, I'm sure. I'm sure when this um, program launches on TV, you'll get additional support, so that's mm -hmm. great. Yeah. Um, okay, so talk to us about technology. You brought in this drone here, uh, yes. and you wanted to mention technologies <laughs> that students use. Yes, yeah, so students will be uh, in their sophomore year. Um, they'll be flying the, uh, the DJI Little Tellos, um, and then that's what they'll kind of learn. Uh, using the controls and this you know this has a camera on it here that students can take aerial shots hmm. um, and then their junior year as they they're learning a little more of a ground school for uh, their UAS for their pilot's license um, they'll be using some some bigger drones to do some other projects and we're hoping uh, then if students choose that pathway then their senior year um, if there's local businesses around to, to help out with that internship and capstone project where mm -hmm. students are actually, um, you know, now that they're certified by the FAA to fly, mm -hmm. that they're able to do, you know, some of those things for our community. Mm -hmm. So um, when the kids complete their, by the time they complete their senior year, what do they earn? Uh, and then how do they really get certified to be an actual pilot? You know, what are the next steps for them? So their certification will come their junior year. So if they're in the, the UAS or drone pathway, they'll mm -hmm. sit down and take that test. Mm -hmm. um, and then if they decide that they want to be a pilot, mm -hmm. uh, then they'll take their FAA uh, Airman's Knowledge portion at the end of their junior year. Wow. Uh, and we're hoping that, that through their internship or capstone product that they're mm -hmm. able to, to kind of advance that. Okay. Um, and then the students are interested uh, to continue their career, then they would, you know, look at um, some of the connections that we've built to, to get their flying time. Okay, so students are taking the same exams that an adult who's also interested in the field would take. Yeah, this are, these are FAA certified exams. So Amazing. They'll, yeah, they'll, be, um, they'll pass these portions. Um, they'll be certified like anyone else. That's great. Okay, so I'm sure we're gonna have excited students and parents who are watching this program or even community members who wanna tell their niece or nephew about the program. So how do they learn more about this program? Yeah, it's very exciting. We were, we were very happy that Dr. Smith actually came out and visited us one day uh -huh. while we were doing our glider project. But uh, we do have a Twitter, uh -huh. um, and then also on the Gruder webpage, we have an aviation tab. And then for more information on the application process is on the, my, or the M MCPS Career Readiness webpage. Okay, and um, when do kids start applying like, is there a certain month yeah, that the, they need to the be? The information in? will start coming out in the fall. Okay. Um, yeah, and okay. then they have the, the application process happens around the winter, so stay posted for that. And we're, we're hoping to make our, ourselves uh, visible in the fall to, to, to show students, you know, firsthand the drones and everything. That's great, that, with that, drones. That could, they could be working with. Okay, I want to get the drone over my office, dropping <laughs> off a pizza box right near my window. That'd be, be great. It has to be less than five pounds. So. <laughs> okay, well, we can, we can arrange that. <laughs> 
Well, thank you so much for being on the show. This was really an exciting topic, and thanks for all of the effort that you're making to make the program great. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. And thank you for watching. I'm Elaine Chang-Baxter, Director of Partnerships. Join us next time on FYI.